welcome to the Drunk Philanthropist. I'm your host, Izzy. And today, I come to you from Bedford, Indiana at my parents' house, and formerly my house. Joining me is my wonderful mother, Hi. Rowena. And today, we are drinking vegan wine. This one is called Funk Zone. Funk Zone. And, and we got, we got it from Wink. To Middle, Cro and Middle Cross Hutchinson. There you go. He sent it to us from Wink. It's pretty tasty. Yes, it like was it. a family family contribution to this episode. So today, because we all have our sort of savory spread cravings, we so said we just want to put it on bread and then inhale carbs forever. Uh, today we're going to make a vegan cheese ball. And it is a recipe that I will be posting down below from the blog, It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken. So for this recipe today, you'll need a cup of soaked cashews, raw, unsalted. Just get, you can get them at bulk food stores or in bags or something, um, whatever. Anyway, soak them in water for at least four hours so they're all mushy and nice, and then drain them. You'll need lemon juice. You'll need white miso paste. Mom got this nice tub for us. Garlic, coconut oil, nutritional yeast flakes, Salt, thyme, and cranberries to cover the outside. Dried, not fresh. Dried. Yeah, well, I mean, you can do it either way. We don't have <laughs> fresh, so we're doing dried. Uh, you will also need a blender or a food processor for this task. All right, so this is a very quick and wonderfully fast recipe. First, dump this shit into this shit. There go the cashews. Cool. Then two tablespoons of coconut oil to keep it mushy. Got this. See how there it goes. Yeah. Hi dad! Hi dad! <laughs> My dad just came home. And then we need two tablespoons of lemon juice, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Then we need one table wait. Two teaspoons of white miso paste. I'm confused by this packaging. <laughs> Everything's so globby. You need salt, thyme, and a clove of garlic. So a quarter teaspoon of salt and a tablespoon of thyme leaves. So we're just gonna... That's probably a quarter teaspoon. <clears throat> Nasty. There it is. <laughs> We're listening to the Bella Fleck Christmas album, complete with Mongolian throat singers. It's amazing, and it is a Christmas classic in this household. So, not sponsored. I highly endorse this album, personally. It's wonderful. Everyone should listen to it. Just kinda use a butter knife when you don't feel like using the other knives. Alright, garlic number two! <laughs> wait, wait. I think no, that's... No. Okay, okay, I got this. I think we need another two bottles of wine. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. We have to... Line a small bowl with plastic wrap and scoop the cheese mixture into it. So I'm going to use parchment paper, and it might make a more angular cheese, but who gives a shit? I don't know. So, okay, get the full view of this process. Something tells me maybe this is a less good idea. Maybe you should crumble it up a few times to get it soft. Well, yeah, it's okay. It's working out. So, so here we go. You that might want to get good. an upper angle on this one. Whee. This is like the perfect spatula for this job. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> uh, it's not even really a spatula, is it? I don't know what it is. Tastes good. Wanna wrap it up? I may have put a little... A lot of salt in it. That's what I get for yellowing salt, but we'll see. Alright. So here we go, we're gonna just, uh, 
Do one of those, I guess. You want to try it, Scott? Or yeah. mm. just it this? Um, okay. We're in the fridge. So now we're going to continue to drink until the cheese ball is completely frozen for an hour. Okay, so we're going to check on this cheese ball. Here's the big reveal. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. It froze to the bottom. There, there we go. Okay. Oh yeah, it's looking pretty solid. So now we're gonna go ahead. We added something to the recipe here, which is crushed up pecan halves, and uh, we ground them with this nifty little nut grinder jig here. I don't own one of these, so that's pretty sweet. Gonna just go ahead and dump these in the bottom so that we can roll this cheese ball in it. And got some cranberries gonna throw in there. Well, actually I'm gonna wait on the cranberries. We're kind of just going through this experimentally here. So if you want to, you can kind of make it a little bit rounder here. So I'm kind of just shaping this cheese ball. It's cracking just a little bit, so maybe don't shape it that much because it gets kind of weird. So, but this seems like a pretty good start here. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll it in these nuts. So that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna just keep rolling it up. Try and kind of mush it, get all the stuff to stick on it. There we go. Very exciting. Now, there's probably a more efficient way of doing this, but I'm lazy, like the normal average American. So this is how we're doing it. And now, go ahead and squish some of these cranberries in here. <laughs> Really, just don't don't do it this way. This this is not the correct way to do it. <laughs> what is the correct way to do it? I don't know, mommy. You tell me. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> seems so. I think it seems to be working pretty it well. It does. It does work. Okay. Just smash so them in far, there. I'm just kind of squishing them in there. The other alternative would have been to just food process the whole mess up in. Yeah, I might do that next time. Then, just get the cranberries inside mm -hmm, it. Yeah. Um, but, and then maybe put some nuts on the outside. Yeah. But that would change the color. It'd be all pink. That's okay. Cheese balls are kind of weird colors anyway. Not as weird as those awkward jello puddings they used to make Very in true. the 50s. Ugh, how did anyone eat those? <laughs> Even later than the Meat 50s. Meat jello pudding. <laughs> We had one for Thanksgiving Disgusting. in 1980-something. I'm so sorry for your loss. It <laughs> melted over the edge of the, of the yeah. plate and ended up on the tablecloth. Yeah. Oh, it was That's pretty gross. It was pretty gross. Yes, thank you to my friend Lisa for the Christmas plate. Yeah. Isn't it cute? It's got a snowman on it. Here's the Christmas ball. Ooh. <laughs> ah. Finished product. Okay. Really good. I cheated and tried some of that. Here, wait, let me get this out of, out of the image. No more of this shit. Going to. Are uh, this is all Dean Greg. Are saltines vegan, even? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, here's my crumbly saltine. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, yeah. Mm. 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 A plus, you guys. If you want a really dope holiday themed vegan snack that takes like 15 minutes to put together and an hour to freeze, this is it. Go to this rest website, try it out. It's so good. And I hope y'all have a really wonderful Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays and a Happy New Year, wherever the hell you are. 
And first, Mom, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> before we go, Mom needs to taste test this too. Well, I, do, I need to taste it too? Okay. Yes. Oops. Moment of truth! Uh, okay. Yeah, I like it. Okay, good. Hooray! Might even be better than cheese. Yay! Next time we should put some Worcestershire sauce in it. Is that vegan? I have vegan Worcestershire sauce. Because that's what they put in um, the cheese balls that I made. Really? Cool. So, mm -hmm. other suggestions include... And tune in next time. Sounds good. All right. Well, bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, Mom. <laughs> <laughs>